Hey everybody, Vex here. Uh, this is actually footage from a week ago when they first opened the beta to those who had pre-ordered from Origin or owned the Medal of Honor Limited Edition. I owned the Medal of Honor Limited Edition, so I got in early. This isn't my first game, it's my second game. I recorded my first game and then deleted it immediately after because not only did I go negative, uh, I also spent most of my time looking at the trees and the bushes and just trying to explore the map and look around. Um, <laughs> so it wasn't really worth seeing. <laughs> you wouldn't like it. Uh, the maps do, or well, the maps, I've only seen one other than the Caspian footage that everybody's seen. Uh, this map is gorgeous when you're in it. It, it is somewhat distracting. The graphics are pretty good for a shooter. Um, I don't think there's another shooter out there right now that looks quite this good. It's a, uh, at least another military shooter. I've been playing Rage uh, last night and a little bit today. Rage looks great, and from what I understand, it's, the engine is capable of so much more, but the technology uh, is holding us back. The, the equipment, the 360, even the PlayStation 3 and the PC, really aren't capable of the full capabilities of the engine that the new engine that ID Software has made. So, uh, I'm going to quit going off on that tangent and go back to this. Um, there are quite a few bugs in the beta if you haven't played it. Um, but they're bugs that are going to get fixed. This beta is actually the, the po final polish they did right after the alpha. And then they had to they had to ship it off to Microsoft and, and Sony. And um, so that it could get on those networks. Because those networks... Uh, had to uh, do their own evaluation of the software so that they wouldn't, because you know Sony and Microsoft wanted to make sure that once it was loaded up, it wasn't going to crash their network or cause damage or you know they had to look out for their sub subscribers. So, um, and I think we all understand that. The PC version has already gotten regular updates. They've been regularly fixing that, and that's because they don't have to answer to anyone with the PC version. And, uh, yeah, Vex just ran right by an enemy. Literally. Um, see, I, this is what I'm telling you. I, there's a quite a few times where I try to throw a grenade and I n pull out my knife instead. Uh, there's a couple times where I'm trying to pull out my med, med kit and instead I switch to single fire. I mean... I haven't figured out the controls quite yet when I played this game, but uh, I've gotten better. Um, as you can see, I don't know all don't know the maps that well because I step right out here and just get. I mean, that's a, an obvious spot where people can. Um, you can also see in order to cut down on the time, so I could upload a reasonably length video. I uh, I uploaded um, or I cut out all the deaths. I also cut out a, a few lives where all I did was run around for two minutes. Um, so, the, this footage is is not the full game, but it, you know you're gonna, you're gonna get the gist of the full match. Um, all you're gonna see in this video is the M16, uh, but I can tell you there are a lot of weapons. There are tons of weapons in Battlefield. Um, I honestly think there is not another shooter out there with as, as many weapons available in multiplayer as Battlefield 3. Uh, there's just, there's just tons of weapons and tons of gadgets and perks that are just fun to use now. Uh, to the, to date, right now, um, I have not, I haven't, like, unlocked everything. Um, I don't know of anybody that's unlocked everything. I'm sure there there probably is somebody that's just they can't they haven't stopped playing since they got the beta and they just they've got everything unlocked. Um, I have unlocked the last weapon in the support class. I've, that's the furthest I've gone in any of the classes. Um, I did have a I've, 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 
I have a lot of fun with the support class, because most of my friends are playing with the medic, so I've, I've got people who can heal me and revive me, but nobody, not many people are playing with the support class, and uh, having fun with the ammo pack, and the, uh, to be honest, the heavy weapons are just fun. Sure, your accuracy rating goes down, but man, you can just pump those rounds out there, you get lots of suppression assists. Um, which I love that I just the idea of a suppression assist. I love that. I love the suppression system. I love that when you're getting fired on, things go blurry. Um, that's it, it does scare you, it, that, and that's the intent. Is oh, you know, the idea of oh, holy shit, I'm getting shot at. Um, advice the charge has been planted. Over. So yeah, um, when the final game comes out. I'm probably going to play as an engineer a lot. Um, I played as an engineer a lot in um, Bad Company 2, and the reason it's uh, I play Bad Company for the vehicles, I play Modern Warfare for the infantry combat. Now, the infantry combat in this game is better than Bad Company 2. It's a lot better. Uh, in Bad Company 2, uh, I felt like I was forced to play hardcore because core or the, the standard mode they don't, they don't call it core but that's the best way to describe it I guess since the other one's hardcore it was the damage or not the damage the health that you had was inordinately it was it was inordinately high it was just too much um, and it took half a clip to kill somebody in this this is more than hardcore was in Bad Company, because it doesn't take two bullets to kill. You're not getting killed by snipers insanely fast. If, they, if they're using a bolt action and they hit you in the chest or the head, yes, they'll kill you in one hit. They're using us a, 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 um, a semi-auto sniper. They're going to have to hit you two or three times to kill you. Uh, with the other guns, it's three or four bullets, uh, which is, a, you know, it's not, it's not realistic, but it's probably the best balance I've seen, um, in, uh, a shooter. They're, they've done really well with balancing the weapons, I think. Nothing is too powerful, nothing is, uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people using certain weapons th thinking, oh yeah, this is really so much powerful, but... I haven't really noticed anything that was like so powerful that literally everyone was using it. The UMP is 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 powerful, but it's not like it's not like it's nearly as uh, as overpowering as it was in Modern Warfare 2. Um, going back to some of the, the glitches, um, the worst glitches are probably uh, not glitches so much as bugs. Uh, the worst ones are probably the screen tearing. Which, later on, you'll see uh, a polygonal screen tear. Um, there's also a screen tear where, occasionally, when you're down here in these subway tunnels, people will shoot their guns. It doesn't just happen down here, but it happens down here more often, or it's more noticeable. But people will shoot their guns, and the muzzle flash will just hang in the air as a white light. And that itself is not that bad. It doesn't, it doesn't make... You know, it, it, it doesn't make it so you can't see or anything. It's just, uh, after a while, if you get stuck in an area where these, these, uh, screen tears are doing, going on over and over and over again, eventually the Xbox can't put out 60 frames per second anymore, and it just gets bogged down, and so that's a problem. But, they've already said they're fixing that. Be advised, they, objective has been neutralized. Over. Um, another issue is the sound cutting out. I haven't read anywhere that they're gonna they're going to fix that or that it's but I'm sure it's gonna get fixed because lots of people are are uh, reporting it. It's it's happening to lots of different people. Um, it doesn't happen in this game, which is a good thing. But uh, yeah, it does it does happen. Um, let's see. There's also some bugs as far as connecting to servers. Now, once you're on a server, it's just smooth sailing. It's wonderful. The connection is absolutely just... It's great. No lag um, that I've experienced whatsoever. 
I have experienced issues getting onto servers, not in the first two days when it was just, it was the closed beta, but once the beta opened up and, you know, there were millions of people trying to play around the world, uh, then it got a little hairy. It got, you know, it, it, it was harder to get into a server. And it's gotten better. They've done some server-side updates um, that have made it better. They've added more servers. And, I mean, a lot of what the beta test is is not finding these bugs, but a lot of it was just a server stress test. They wanted to see how many people they could handle, how their servers would handle it. Um, there's all... there. The one issue I can say is... Once you're in a game, as far as connection, you're not going to have any issues as far as connection, like staying connected or lag, at least I haven't experienced any. But there is an issue with, once you're in a server, um, the voice chat is now all of the players on your team. It's not just your squad. Uh, and because of that, the voice chat, it's not using, it's not using, uh, Xbox Live's servers to do the voice chat, it's still using, it's also, it's using the same server as the game, and I don't know if it's just they're not giving enough, here's that screen tear that I was talking about, polygonal screen tear, um, and it goes away once you move beyond it, it's like out in front of me, I don't know how else to describe it, it's actually a, like, a part of the map, it's not always there. It's just I happen to encounter it in this map, or in this time playing through. Um, anyway, back to the, the voice issue. Uh, the, the only solution to it is using an Xbox Live party um, that, that I found. But the voice chat lags it when you're in the game, um, and that's it, it's annoying. If you want to be able to talk to your entire team without voice lag, it's annoying. I hope they fix that. I don't know if they will. I, uh, they probably eventually will. I don't know. But, uh... So far, this is a great game. Uh, you see, I did pretty good. Not, you know... Not amazing or anything. I was my top player, and we won, so... That's good enough for me. Uh, the, uh since I just unlocked a shotgun, a quick word on shotguns. They're okay up close. And then when you find when you use them enough, you unlock the slug rounds or the frag rounds. That's when they become awesome, and you can kill people from distance. Um, and they become powerful. Uh, but um, if you haven't downloaded the demo, download it, try it, then decide if you're going to buy the game. It's it's a good game. And uh, the campaign and the co-op are going to be just as fun as the multiplayer.